Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to find the factors and then we are going to solve this given quadratic equation. And now let's go ahead and the very first step we are going to find the factors. Let's go over these numbers first. As you can see that 5 is common among all these three terms. What that means is 15 could be written as 5 times 3 and over here 145 could be written as 5 times 29 and 90 could be written as 5 times 18. So far so good. So I can move this 5 outside and I can put this one over here inside parentheses 3x square minus 29x plus 18. So far so good. And now we're going to go ahead and take care of we're going to find the factors on this one over here. So here is our quadratic expression 3x squared minus 29x plus 18. Let's go ahead and factor this one out. I'm going to put two parentheses and let me show you an easy way. Let's look at only this part 3x. Don't worry about this square. So I want you to just put down 3x and I want you to put 3x. Once again ignore this exponent. Now the next step is I want you to multiply these n numbers 3 times 18. I'm going to put down 3 times 18, isn't it? So 18, I can break it down 18 as uh, 9 times 2, isn't it? And then we already have a 3 right up here put down. Now you can see that this 3 times 9 becomes 27 and then we have a times 2. See right now 27 times 2 and you can see 27 and 2 is going to give you this inside number which is 29. So the number is going to be simply this is going to be a both of them going to be a negative sign. This is a negative sign and this is negative sign as well. So I'm going to put down negative 27 right up here and negative 2 right up here. Now what I want you to do next is look at this very first parenthesis. Look at these numbers 3 and 27. Look for the greatest common factor. GCF are the biggest number that could divide into both numbers at the same time. So 3 is the number that divides into both of them. And in the second parentheses we don't see anything that divides into both of them. Just leave them alone. So let's simplify this one over here. 3 divided by 3 is going to give you 1x minus 3 goes into 27 9 times 3x minus 2. So these are our factors over here. So I'm going to put down so these our factors turns out to be x minus 9 and 3x minus 2 and this 5 is outside. Just go ahead and put down 5. This is our complete factors. And now finally we are going to solve this given quadratic equation. And these are the factors we figured out in our previous step and we set them equal to 0. So far so good. And now since 5 is multiplying over here, how we can undo multiplication, we are going to divide both sides by 5. So this 5 and 5 cancels out. So we got x minus 9 times 3x minus 2 equal to 0. Let's split them up. x minus 9 equal to 0 and we got 3x minus 
2 equal to 0 that means x equal to 9 is one of our solutions and here I want you to move this negative 2 on the other side when you move it on the other side become positive 2 divide both side by 3 so x turns out to be 2 over 3 and thus our solution set turns out to be a 9 comma 2 over 3 and that is our answer thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos